the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security, and Rural Development, in collaboration with the UBEC project, has officially commenced a farm labor support program running from June to December 2024, aiming to equip a cadre of laborers with practical training in essential farming techniques. The program's core focus is to expose laborers to standardized methods of land preparation, planting, pruning, harvesting, and the safe application of chemicals. Emphasis will also be placed on personal and environmental safety as integral components of the training. Project manager of the UBEC project, Shemaine Clozel, highlighted the program's objectives, stating that by the end of the program, farmers should have a reliable pool of laborers with both general and specialized skills. While we can make investments into fertilizer, water tanks, agricultural lime, potting bags, seedlings, ground covers, and many other inputs, the truth is that our farmers, if they do not have farm labor supports, these investments will mean nothing and they will not result in increased production or sustained progress towards greater food security. The reality for us as small island developing states, as a small island developing state which is highly mountainous with few areas of flat agricultural land, is that all types of agriculture relies heavily on manpower or woman power as the case may be. We do not have the kind of terrain that supports large machinery. Most of our, our farms are relatively small and they're uneven, making them very labor intensive. Therefore, this is why this program is so important. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, is hopeful that this initiative will foster greater cooperation between farmers, trained laborers, as well as extension officers, ultimately leading to a more robust agricultural industry. Upon com commencing my tenure as Minister for Agriculture, one of the most frequent voices challenged by the farmers is the unavailability of consistent supply of labor. In fact, there are many of the firm opinion that we must look to external sources of labor. The government of St. Lucia instead has opted to provide our people with the first opportunity to supply their services and to provide employment to persons who are willing and able. I wish to congratulate and thank all of you today for responding to the recruitment drive for farm workers. Providing training in modern farming techniques and safety practices to address the shortage of skilled laborers, the UBEC Project's Farm Labor Support Program stands as a testament to the government's dedication to empowering the agricultural workforce and enhancing the sector's sustainability. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.